Keep your heads up and your arms covered, beautiful family. Here's the verse of the day in its Psalms 34, 17. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all of their troubles. And all glory goes to our Father forever, always, in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And in the last video that I just put out yesterday, Rapture 2023 Revelation 12 sign, well, before I uploaded it, I watched it, and about halfway through, I started praising our Father, and I jumped up praising Him and said, this is really it, huh, Father? And I heard in the Spirit, yes, son, it is. And then He walked me through the signs that I walked you through, His signs. And then He had me do some more research on Miriam, and I put it in one of the videos, Miriam, Moses' sister, Miriam, the prophetess. And what he showed me that I'm about to show you confirms the delivery of the child. What we've all been waiting for, the rapture. So I looked up the meaning of Miriam and the meaning is wished for child. Miriam is a girl's name of Hebrew origin as it means wished for child family. Miriam offers you a heartfelt way to express your loving devotion to your new arrival. And if that didn't rock you, let this sink in. Miriam is best known for helping to deliver Moses at the Nile River and leading the Hebrew women in singing and dancing and playing drums after crossing the Red Sea. Imagine that. Miriam means wished for child. Miriam is known for delivering Moses. And he showed me this yesterday. Now let me tell you what happened this morning. I was supposed to be on the road right now to California. Grammy has a doctor's appointment on the first, on the super moon, on to be off. So she wanted me to take her to the doctors. It's uh, out of town, a few cities away from her. So I told her I would. So I packed last night. And this morning, I carried my suitcases to the truck. And I was about to load up my tools and everything that I'm taking with me. And my key fob wouldn't work. My truck wouldn't unlock. And I looked down and there was no reception on it. And I was thinking, maybe it's just the batteries dying. So I unlocked my truck with the key. And soon as I opened the door, the alarm went off. And I couldn't get it to shut off. I jumped inside real quick because I had a battery in my truck, a new battery. I put it in the key fob. It still didn't work. So the alarm went off five times. And it was 7.38 in the morning, Sunday. And I'm thinking, I'm waking up all the neighbors right now. And I'm like, obviously you don't want me to leave today, Jesus Christ. So I go back inside. And as soon as I get inside, I hear, sound the alarm. And I knew right then that he wanted me to get out this information about Miriam, known for delivering Moses, baby Moses, in the basket on the Nile, and that her name means wished for child. So here I am, family, all glory to our Father, encouraging you, showing you that this is the rapture sign. And I'm not going to say any day. What I will say is, the child comes out of the womb as soon as the Feast of Trumpets starts. And this year, it's on the Sabbath. So they don't blow the trumpet until the following day, which will be the 16th. And they celebrate Yom Teruah for two days. So on the 17th, on the 100th trumpet blast, the last trump blast, that's the longest one that will complete the Feast of Trumpets, September 17th. Now let's look at the word. John chapter 6, verse 39 says that he will raise us up on the last day. Verse 40 says that he will raise us up on the last day. Verse 44, I will raise him up at the last day. Verse 54, whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. And you already know 
Rosh Hashanah 2023 Feast of Trumpets begins on the evening of Friday, September 15th and ends on the evening of Sunday, September 17th. And remember, because it's on the Sabbath day, the trumpets don't blow until the 16th and they end on the 17th. Now here's why that's gigantinormous. Not only did he say over and over and over again that he will raise us up on the last day, you already know, Hosea 6-2, after two days will he revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up and we shall live in his sight. It fits perfectly. The heavens declare the glory of God. And this painting right here, this picture right here, is absolutely perfect. It's the Revelation 12 sign, the sign. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And you can see it. The woman is clothed with the sun, with Lydia, our sister in the Bible that's famous for her purple clothing. She's clothing the woman with the sun. And the moon is under her feet, right next to Yeshua. Yeshua and Yahuwah combined right next to Miriam, the prophetess that delivered Moses from the Nile River, whose name means wished for child. And there's the child. Verse two, and she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And in verse 4, we know the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And the dragon, the United Nations, comes out of the woman two days before the birth of the child. The dragon will be standing before the woman when the child comes out to devour her child as soon as it was born. But that ain't going to happen because the word is true and the child will be caught up to the throne. Raptured. We're going home. And I'm seeing comments and some of you are like, you can't trust Stellarium. And I'm over here like, I only trust Jesus Christ. But Stellarium doesn't make mistakes, family. The things that I see in Stellarium, I see with my own eyes in my backyard. So I did some research, and the man that made Stellarium, his name is Fabian. And he says, I created Stellarium as a side project during the summer of the year 2000. And I looked down, and his birthday is September 17th, family. The last day of Rosh Hashanah. At the last trump. And there's so much more to that. But I'm going to wrap this up. Because this is enough. I know he's coming. And you already know, God told Jonah to give Nineveh a 40-day warning. After Jesus Christ was born, Mary walked 40 days to the purification pool. 40 days, it rained. 40 is the number of purification, and this is leading to the days of awe, the days of repentance, leading right to Rosh Hashanah, family known as the High Holy Days, or Days of Awe, which begin with the Jewish year, Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets. And ten days after that is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the end of the Jubilee. So a lot of you are going to be saying, especially because people are saying that it's the Day of Atonement, a lot of people are going to be thinking, is it Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets, or is it the Day of Atonement? Well, let me show you what the Word says. And some people might not like it and some might not receive it, but it is the word, Jesus Christ, the red words. Revelation 2.10 Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. What other ten-day period or gap is there that lines up with the word? or that lines up with the birth on Feast of Trumpets. And I'm not going to say a date, but what I will say to you, family, is the truth. The heavens declare the glory of God. The signs of his coming will be in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. 
with the stress of nations. And this picture that you're looking at right here is exactly what it will look like when they confirm the covenant with many for seven years. Agenda 2030. Green means go. And if you remember Christina's dream, no one could find 811 and everybody was freaking out, panicking, trying to find 811. Well, from and including August 11th, 811 to and including September 19th is 40 days. And at this point, I already know. He already told me. Yes, son, it is. He's already confirmed it over and over and over and over and over. And all glory to our Father forever. Most of you know, Genevieve Brazil, she said that Jesus Christ said that I was the captain of the rapture awareness ship and I was steering us to the rapture. And I know Genevieve would not lie. Whoso loveth and maketh a lie goes to hell. And I think him showing me the child coming out of the womb on the Feast of Trumpets confirms it. I don't need any more signs. And the reason he has me doing these videos isn't for me. It's for you, family, the ones that are still up against the ropes. The ones that have been walked through so many failed watches, your hearts are just devastated and broken. It's like the little boy that cried wolf. The wolf's coming, the wolf's coming, and he never comes. So they stop watching. They stop listening to him. And I've never set a date. And I never will. But I'm telling you, he's telling me, September! I got the Holy Spirit all over me. My hair standing straight up. Holy bumps. Praise you, Father, for the Ruach HaKodesh. And most of you know that this is it. You can't deny it. It's undeniable. It's right in your face. And Christina used to say it all the time. The best place to hide something is right out in the open, right in your face. So don't be like Doubting Thomas. Stay in the word. Increase your faith. It's impossible to please him without faith. He's looking for faith when he comes. So keep your heads up, family. All glory to our Father. Over 20 years of watching has led us to the Revelation 12 sign. And it's stacked. Like never before. We've never seen anything like this.